Good day, nerds. I uh, wanted to address something that happened to me a few days ago. Um, something that I didn't actually mean to put on my story, but ended up being on my story. So, for the past like few weeks, I've been feeling very um, worthless. Feeling like I'm not good enough. Feeling that um, I'm not meant to be here. It, and it's weird to feel that way because like, you know, so many people feel like, you know, you're always smiling or you're always like laughing or you're always trying to make people laugh and you're always, you know, in this great mood, but I guess they don't see what's actually behind my doors, you know? So, with my intense anxiety and my intense emotions, you know, I'm still getting used to being alone in my house, you know, I, I'm not used to that. I, you know, I'm, uh, I'm used to being with someone, you know, I'm used to like going upstairs and you know, my uncle or my aunt was there and my new cousins, you know, or um, coming home and like, you know, having someone to say hey to. So it's a little, it's a little different being here by yourself and it's a little overwhelming at the same time because here you are trying to not impress people, but here you are trying to make people like you. And not everyone's going to like you. But with my personality, I want to be liked. I want everyone to like me. So I pretty much would do anything for someone to like me. And it's a little bizarre how I can be that way. Um, but me having... Uh, Basically, you know, suicidal thoughts kind of scares me a little bit. And then when you try to act on those actions, it's a lot scarier than you think. Um, but in that heat of the moment, when you're doing those actions and when you're thinking about it, no one else matters to you. Besides, you know, you just want to not be here anymore. So when I got admitted into the suicidal clinic. Um, it was a very intense experience for one. Um, I think that the area that I was in was definitely not for my type of depression. It actually made me more depressed than I was. Um, honestly, all I did was stay in my room and read the book Shiloh. <laughs> Um, I, uh, was roomed with someone that literally was, like, hitting themselves, and I was around people that were drug addicts or people that just weren't in the same state of mind as I was, so me seeing that really, like, did damage to me again and more, so, you know, I stayed there overnight and slept during the whole entire day. And, you know, the times that I did get up, I would eat or you know, I'd read the book. Um, so when I asked to leave, I pretty much, you know, wanted to leave because I just wasn't comfortable being in that environment. And I think that my new psychiatrist and my social worker understood, you know, what I was feeling and they were very understanding. Um, and I straight up told him, I was like, if this was more of a, you know, a group of people that were like me, depressed and suicidal, I would definitely stay here a little bit longer, but this is making me a lot worse and a lot depressed. You know, there are people crying at night and it's just not, I don't want to be around that, you know? Um, when I had my meeting with my psychiatrist, I definitely had talks that I've never talked about before, you know, um, I talked about like, you know, childhood memories that scarred me for life. I, I talked about, 
you know, um, being taken advantage of when I was younger. Um, I talked about, you know, wanting to hurt myself and not wanting to be here anymore. Um, it was very emotional. And I think the reason why I'm not so emotional now is because I got it mostly out. And that was probably the most that I've ever cried. You know, I, I never cried for half a day. <laughs> and I was just sitting in that room thinking about my family, thinking about my brothers and my sisters and thinking about like my friends and my friends' kids that basically look up to me like I'm their uncle. And all these memories started to start appearing. Like if I was to leave them, where does that leave them, you know? And me not being here, how would that affect other people around me that are currently with me now? And I started to realize that I still feel this way, but I have to think about other people. So when I came home and I rode home with my uncle, um, we started talking about, you know, what what was going on like in my head and what was going on with the psychiatrist and um, if I still have those thoughts. And the answer is yes, I still have those thoughts. However, they're not extreme as they were. And I can't get rid of those thoughts. I don't know how to get rid of those thoughts. So um, if you guys have any solutions, please let me know. <laughs> I am still seeing my therapist and I'm still, I'm going to be seeing my psychiatrist soon. So that's going to be happening on the 20th, I believe. Um, I am on medications. So that's something that I'm going to be doing for a while until I start to feel better. But I think, you know, when people are asking me questions, you know, how are you feeling or how are you doing and this and that, it's hard to say how I'm feeling or how I'm doing because just a few days ago I wanted to you know hurt myself and now I feel like I'm just empty and I think it's because like you know I want to have a new start and I want to start over but it's hard to start over when you don't know where to start so I'm just rolling with the flow and I'm trying not to get emotional in this video because I want you guys to know that I am okay but um, I am getting help and I'm trying to fix my problem. So, um, yeah. So I thought I would address that because, you know, I left you guys hanging and I didn't mean to post that video or that picture online on my social media. That was a huge mistake. Um, so, you know, on Snapchat, you have your streaks. So I have over 15 streaks. So I, um, probably like 15 or 20 streaks, but I uh, was letting everyone know, and this is probably stupid, but I was letting everyone know that I wasn't gonna be Snapchatting them for a while because like the place was gonna take my phone, my wallet, like they literally took everything. And um, I accidentally sent it on my story, so, a lot of people saw that, like a lot. And when I got out, a lot of people wanted to know like what was going on. So um, this is it. This is the video of what's going on. So um, yeah, I'm still working on my anxiety and maybe I'm so emotionless because or like I don't have any emotion because like I said, I literally cried out everything I could. And I had a heart to heart with some people that I haven't talked to in years. And that was really hard for me too. Forgiving those that hurt me in the past and trying to work everything out and be friends with people that I haven't you know, wanted to be friends with for a long time. 
and basically forgiving people is probably one of my hardest things. Like I definitely want to work on that more too. Like I, I can hold a grudge for sure. And um, I think I'm just getting off topic, but um, yeah, I, I wanted to make this video because I don't know if anyone else is feeling this way. I don't know if anyone else has a problem with depression and anxiety, but um, I definitely suffer from it for sure. My anxiety is still up the roof um, and my depression is in the mid. So like one to 10, 10 being the worst, it'd probably be a five. So um, I'm working on it and I'm trying to get better and I just want everyone to know that I, I am going to be okay. Um, it just takes time. So bear with your boy. And I hope that, you know, I don't scare anyone with this video. I hope that I don't um, make anyone sad by watching this video or... Um, make anybody worry about this video. Um, I will be okay, I will be fine. I just have to really work on myself and not take too many jobs. You know, not making myself overwhelmed. You know, there was a point in time where I was just working way too much. Like I would get up at four, or 4.45 anyway. I would get up at 4.45, go to the gym, leave the gym at 6.40, hurry, get dressed, leave work, or leave for work, be there at around 7.30, 7.45, don't get off until 4.30. And then now with me having a second job, I work there at five and working there till 11 and doing the same thing over and over and over. And then in between those days that I didn't work at you know, my other job, I, would be helping filming, or not really helping, but I would have a job filming for someone, and I would be doing this job and that job, and editing too many videos, you know, editing one person's video, and editing the, another company's video, and editing another person's video, and editing a person's pictures. So it's like, I was taking too many jobs on, and I think that's what really overwhelmed me, and I thought I could handle it. I thought I was strong enough, but I'm not. I know that I have a huge event that I'm recording in uh, June. So uh, the mid of June, I will be um, shipped out. That's coming out soon. After that, I think that I will probably be done filming for people, taking pictures for people, and I think that I'm just going to be focusing on myself. And when I get back to the old Zach, <laughs> I will um, probably start again and see how it goes. Um, a lot of things are in the air right now. Um, I know that my one of my aunts wants me to move with her in Florida. And I have another aunt that wants me to move with her in Texas. And I have um, my friends that want me back in Atlanta. So I don't know what to do because, you know, I made really good friends here. I literally have made this video five times. So. I think I'm going to go with this video and uh, if you're suffering from depression and suffering from anxiety, suffering from just not w want, wanting to be wanted, um, just know that you're not alone and I'm with you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yeah, this is like a complete, you know, video that I've never done before. So 
Um, I'm letting you guys in, and after I post this video, you guys are officially in my wall. So, uh, welcome <laughs> to inside my wall, and the gate closes right behind you, and come on to this new adventure with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be safe, be kind, and thank you.